What's up guys? I am freezing because Eric and I just installed my new truck bed cover. It's ready to rock and roll now. So we're cooking now that that's all taken care of, but it was really cold outside, so I'm just cold forever right now, I feel He's like. It's permanently cold. Don't let her trick you. Yeah, I'm actually pretty permanent cold. Cold all the time. So Eric and I decided to cook, um, well we're gonna smoke these like elk shish kebabs, but out of like ground meat rather than steak. So I've actually never had ground meat shish kebabs before, so I'm interested to see how they come out. And besides that, on the Camp Chef, we're also going to have some veggies, but we're actually baking them and cooking them in a pot right now. I'll show you which ones we have. But I'm really excited to see how it's going, how it's gonna work out. The Camp Chef's heating up, right? Mm -hmm. What are we going to cook them at? Up. What are we going to cook them? Yeah. At? Yeah. Probably 375. Almost almost about the temperature of like a barbecue grill. 375. They won't be like super thick or anything. No, they're going to be thin. And it'll probably cook them pretty fast because it cooked my 12 pound turkey in a couple hours. So that was pretty cool. Eric's on a Brussels sprout kick and I'm on a broccoli kick. If you guys like vegetables and those type of vegetables, which one do you like better? Right now, I think broccoli is better, but Eric will say that Brussels sprouts are better. Brussels right? sprouts all the way. So this is how Eric cooks his Brussels sprouts lately. He's been doing it in the, in the oven. I just can't believe it's not butter. That's not typical because I ran out of olive oil spray, but I like to get them with olive oil so they kind of crisp on the top. We should have bought that today. Coming in, babe. And then I'm cooking broccoli steaming it so you got to boil it in water first to just cover the broccoli and then you let it simmer for like seven minutes get it soft Let's do it. so i'm excited to eat all the veggies all right time to make the meat this is elk right here and it works so eric already seasoned his because he wanted like barbecue sauce and stuff on it I don't really like barbecue sauce unless it's on like ribs or pulled pork or barbecue things. But I'm going to use this. Let me make sure it has no carbs. One carb, that's okay. I'm back on that keto diet life. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. This stuff right here. And then I'm going to dig into my tactic calorie stash. What do I want to use? Hmm. I think I'm gonna use Carving House. This one's really, really good. Done. All right, here's the finished products. Can you open the door for me, Eric? Eric already has some on the camp ship. Here it is. This is my smoker. Where should I put mine in the bottom? This is the, yeah, perfect. This is the Camp Chef Pursuit, I think it's called. Yeah, it says it right there. What did you heat it up to? It's on 375, just simply dial it to the, the 375. You can see right here, that little red, it's pretty much, you're acting, it's almost acting like a barbecue grill at that, that temperature. Yum, it smells so good. But it will still give it a smoky flavor. I love that smoker, look at the size of it. it. Doesn't take up a lot of room, but it has a lot of room inside. Don't you think, Eric? I sure think so, babe. Ta-da! They're all done. 
cheesy broccoli and ground elk meat kebab things. Let's see how they taste. It's pretty good. I want to dip it in something, but I don't know what. What do you think would be good on it? Catch it for barbecue, but not for you. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a hot dog, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. It's really good. The carving house seasoning, way good. Check out these little uh, elk burger shish kebabs or something. <laughs> What's up guys? So that was a pretty quick video. I just wanted to show you that I have been using my Camp Chef smoker here in the winter and I have been using a ton of tactic calorie seasonings as well. I actually just got back from Florida so I am going to do some more catch and cook videos soon. Probably smoke some fish on the Camp Chef. And yeah, there's a lot of really good videos coming out there. Lots of fishing videos, Brookie taking a swim, that'll be coming out soon. And now that I'm also back, I have this big exam tomorrow, but once that's done, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more meal prepping and cooking in general. So I'll be showing you guys all that here on the YouTube. I hope you enjoyed that video. Have you guys ever tried making little meat stick things like that? It was really, really good. The seasoning made it amazing. It was kind of like a hot dog. Like it would have been really, really good in a bun, but you guys know I'm, I have been doing keto for a long time now, so I don't really do the bun life. But it was really good. It got me excited to make some snack sticks. That's going to be the next big thing that I'm doing on my Camp Chef. Um, I've kind of been waiting because Eric and I are both so busy and all over the place. I'd really prefer us doing that together just because, just because it's an all-day job. Like, I want to smoke like 50 pounds of meat into snack sticks. Um, I did that one year and it literally kept me alive. It was my favorite thing in the world. I enjoyed eating them so much. They were so good. So I really, really, really want to do that again and uh, be able to eat them all summer long. Just kind of freeze some, take some out of the freezer, keep them in the cooler, eat them, do all that. It'll be great. A really good, healthy snack, which you can't beat that. But anyway, you guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you want the link to the seasoning I use as well as the specific Camp Chef I use, I'll put that below right now in the description box. I hope you guys are having a good day, a good month, a good year, and I'll see you next time.